بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہلو اینڈ ویلکم ٹو رحمان ڈیجیٹل پروڈکشن ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کنڈکٹ لیکچر نمبر تھرٹی فائیو اینڈ وی ویل اسٹارٹ ایکسرسائز فائیو سی آپ یونٹ نمبر فائیو آل دیز کوشچنز آر ورڈ پرابلم and i always telling the students once you understand the question then half of your problem has been solved so understand the question make an expression for it and find the value of that variable if you are not understanding the question then you won't be able to find the uh, value of variable and you won't be able to create the expression let us start it question number one is saying which is on page number 124 it is saying when loaded with the bricks a lorry has a mass of 11600 kilogram remember that the total mass of the break uh, breaks along with the empty lorry is 11600 kg if the mass of the bricks is 3 times that of the empty lorry uh, we will create keeping in mind these conditions in mind so understand it find the mass of the bricks so let us start with the concept let the mass of empty lorry is equal to x we are supposing it the condition is saying if the mass of the bricks is three times that of the empty lorry so the mass of the bricks is equal to 3x the mass of the bricks is equal to 3x because it is given and they are saying the mass of the empty lorry along with the bricks is equal to 11600 total mass is equal to 3x plus x is equal to uh, 11600 kg it is given that the mass of empty lorry and along with the bricks is equal to 11600 so empty lorry is x and bricks is three times that of the empty lorry so it means that it will give us on left side 4x is equal to 11600 kg dividing both sides by 4 11600 divide by 4 kg and when we multiply it it will give you 22900 kg now we have to find this is we can we suppose that mass of the empty lorry is x but we have to find the mass of the bricks so we have to put in this x the value we found this is not the ultimate answer keep this in mind so the mass of the bricks is equal to 3x which is equal to 3 into 
so uh, eight thousand six hundred kilogram is the answer here. Eight thousand seven hundred is the answer of the mass, which was the what the question was asking. Now we are taking our focus to question number two. And question number two is saying the sum of four consecutive odd number is 56. Uh, odd numbers, you must remember this, not even numbers. Then there is one thing I want to tell you. Find the greatest of the four numbers. Let the smallest odd number is equal to x. The next odd number will be the next odd number will be x plus 2 because if it is odd number for example 1 then we have to add 2 with it it will become 3 people are thinking that we have to add with it 1 3 5 that is what i wanted to tell you but not you have to add 2 with it so it will be an odd number if it is odd number if it is even number then the next even number will be x plus uh, 2 for example, this is 2 and this is 4 then. Okay, because there are 4 consecutive number, odd number. So, the next odd number is equal to x plus 2 plus 2. This is the previous one and we have to add with it. So, it will be x plus 4. The next odd number which is the greatest one uh, will be equal to x plus 6 because x plus 4 plus 2 will be equal to x plus 6. Now the first condition is given is the sum of 4 consecutive odd numbers is equal to first one is x then next one is x plus 2 then next one is x plus 4 and the final one is x plus 6 okay now if we are adding x is so x plus x plus x plus x 4x plus 2 plus 4 6 6 plus 12 is equal to and they given us that the sum of the four consecutive numbers is 56. So we have to write here 56 as well. And here we will also give 56. So this will give us 4x is equal to 56 minus 12. So 4x is equal to if I subtract it, it will be 44. Now, dividing both sides by 4. So, 44 divided by 4 will give you 11. So, it means that the smallest number is 11. Students are always telling that this is the answer, but not. We have to find the greatest of all those consecutive 4 odd numbers. Then we have to say the greatest odd number is which was x plus 6. x plus 6 and we found the value of x 11 plus 6 which is equal to 17. Now you can check your answer that the consecutive so 1 is 17 
n the next is 15 the next is 13 and the smallest is 11 so these are the four consecutive numbers if you add them then it will give you 56 if it is not giving you 56 then it means that your answer is not correct that is a method i was telling you to cross check your question now we are turning our focus to question number three and question number three is saying amira is four year older than priya let priya priya's age is equal to x and the question is saying that amira is four year older amira age amira's age is equal to x plus 4 because the question is saying that amira is 4 years older than priya we supposed the age of priya is x so we had to add 4 with the x and Shirley is two years younger than Priya. So now Shirley's age is equal to x minus two because she is two years younger than uh, Priya. What the question is saying? The question is saying that if the sum of their ages is 47, so we have to add all these x plus x plus 4 plus x minus 2 and that is 47. So we have to find the age of every person, find their respective ages. So now x plus x plus 4 plus x minus 2 is equal to 47. These are the three x's. So, 3x plus 2 is equal to 47 and this implies that 3x is equal to 47 minus 2. So, 3x is equal to 45 dividing both sides by 3 so 45 divide by 3 and that is the age of priya why because we supposed the age of priya is x so we found the value of x now we have to find other ages we found priya to be 15 years old now, Amira age, we suppose that x plus 4. So, this implies that uh, we found the value of x. So, we have to add with it 4 and it will give you 19. Now, the next one is Shirley. We have to find the ages of every person respectively so it was x minus 2 so 15 minus 2 which is equal to 13 priya age is 15 amira age is equal to x plus 4 and shirley age is x minus 2 so we found all these ages now we are turning our focus to question number 4 understand the question the sum of two numbers is they given us to be 45 but before that they are saying the sum of two numbers one of which is two third of the other is 45 find the smaller number let the greater number is equal to x and that is what we have to find first 
then according to the question the smaller number will be two third of the greater number that is given so sum of both x plus 2 over 3x is equal to they given us it is 45 so now we found the expression and our first job is a mathematician is to find the value of x so we are taking 3 is the LCM so it will become 3x plus 2x is equal to 45 so it will be equal to 5x 45 multiplied by 3 from cross multiplication so 5x is equal to 45 multiplied by 3 divided by 5 dividing both side by 5 so 5 ones are 5 5 threes are so x value which is the greater number this is not the answer they are saying that find the smaller number so now we are in a position to find the value of smaller number because we found the uh, value of x the smaller number is equal to 2 over 3 into x so we have to put the value of x and that is 9 so we have to here it is 5 ones are not 5 threes are 15 uh, 9 fives are 5 ones are and this will be equal to 27 so we have to put 27 here so 3 nines are 27 and that is 18 so with us the next number is 18 uh, and we have to uh, move to our next question uh, that is question number 5 if a number is tripled uh, this is question number 5 they are saying that if a number is triple we don't know the number we are saying let the number is x let the number is equal to x triple of a number is equal to 3x and they are saying that it is given the same result is when 28 is added to it so 3x is equal to x plus 28 yani 3x whatever this side is giving you the result that will be equal to the result of the right side 3x minus x is equal to 28. So it means that it is equal to 2x 28 and x is equal to 14. We found that x is equal to 14 and that is the ultimate answer. Let me erase the board and then we will continue our journey okay let us continue question number six a travel agency is planning for a holiday for a group of people the agency receives quotation from two coach companies maya express and great holidays now understand the question maya express charges $15 for each person. Let me first write let the 
number of people going on a holiday trip is equal to x now the first one is saying that if maya express charges 15 dollar for each person so it means that it will be 15 x and then the other is the the great holiday charges a fixed amount of 84 dollar so they are saying first we will take 84 dollar and whatever the number of people is we will charge 12 per person so 12 x 12 per person and fix 84 they are taking the fuel that 84 and further they are imposing a condition that we will charge 12 x the 12 per person and x is the number of person so this is the equation and they are now asking that if the total amount charged by each company is the same find the number of people going on the on the holiday they are the same 15x 84 plus 12x is the same so now we have 2.15x minus 12x is equal to 84 so that will be 3x and 84 so x is equal to 84 divided by 3 so 24 uh, 28 will be the answer 3 2 are 6 and 3 8 are so 28 people are going on a trip put this 28 in both side on the place of x you will get the same so we found that 28 people are going uh, these were the basic level question now let us turn our focus to the intermediate level question uh, the question is saying in a school the number of boys who play soccer is three times as much as the number of boys who play badminton so let us start question number seven and they are saying let the number of students who play badminton is equal to x then the number of student who play soccer is equal to three times yes so it means three times those of badminton now understand the question if 12 boys who play soccer play badminton instead so it means that 3x minus 12 because they were playing the soccer and they went to the badminton team so we will add those 12 with the badminton from here we have to subtract it because they were first playing soccer but 
by any reason the question is saying that they are now shifted to the badminton so from here we have to subtract that 12 and we have to add it in the badminton because badminton is x and soccer is 3x so 3x minus 12 and then we have to find the the number of boys who play each of these sports would be the same find the number of boys who play badminton so we have to find because these are the same now according to the question same means equal so we put the uh, equal symbol now we have to find 3x minus x is equal to 12 plus 12 so 2x is equal to 24 and x is equal to 11 it means that 11 students are playing badminton now Okay, these were the question which we were solving today. Uh, tomorrow we will continue with question number 8. Uh, so that's it for today. Hopefully you will do practice on it and well understand. And if you are having any question, please comment on that in the comment section and I will give you the answer accordingly. Thank you very much for watching. Allah Hafiz.